for another video. Today we're going to look at the new EFE rail uh, China clay wagons. We've got the JIA wagon and we've also got the, the Tiger wagon. So first up we've got the PBA Tiger wagon and uh, there are four of these under the EFE rail banner by Batman and these are definitely Kona model rails because they've still got the mouldings underneath to see so and on the back of the box it does say it's a licensed product product from Kona model rails so these are the weathered ones there are pristine versions available but I'm very impressed with the detail on them and we'll turn it around and look at the other side I don't have any of the original Kona ones to compare, but I would imagine they are exactly the same. Um, as with all my videos, we'll have a look at the products and then we'll get them running around. So next up, we'll have a look at the JIA wagons. So the JIA weathered wagon by EFE rail well by Kerno in an EFE rail box the end of the box actually says that it's a Kerno model rail center licensed product um, when I talked to them there's the original Kerno one they um, they still owe the tooling it's still their wagon it is just in an EFE rail box from Batman whereas the original one or the original ones there was four they produced um, they were um, produced in a in a dapple it says on the box dapple um, so I'm not really sure what happened there but they still own the tooling it's their wagon so exactly the same wagon nothing's changed um, on the new one, I don't think the weathering is as good as the original ones. I think I prefer that weathering. I've also noticed that on the new ones, that the weathering flakes off rather easily. As it, because originally they were bright blue. So if I get another wagon. This is the other one in their range. And you can see the bluish colour inside. And again, this one's flaking off a bit. I did have a problem with one of them. It kept derailing. Uh, I've got a photograph of it. I'll try and include it in this video. The, um, the bogey wasn't sitting level on the track. It was uh, one of the, the wheels the axles was raised and every time I went around a corner it would just derail so I had to um, have that swapped out with a replacement model so there you go that's that side of the new one And you can see it's flaked off a bit more from this this view but this is how they look like today if you uh if you went to see them they are filthy they look like this a lot of them got graffiti on now but that's how they look just compared to the original kernel ones
So there, uh, yeah. So what we'll do is uh, I'll put these in a rake of six as well, and we'll get them running around. So these are the end of the JIA boxes. You see the kernel, original kernel one, has a DAPL number on it, whereas the new one's EFE from Batman. So it's all very confusing, but uh, kind of assured me that they're making them. They're just in a different box. So yeah, they're the boxes. So the motive power, we've got a Hornby uh, class 50 Defiance in the rail freight livery. We put them on the Tigers. I have seen photographs of this engine in real life hauling tiger wagons. This one, this model has sound, so if you've turned your volume up, you might want to turn it down a bit because it's quite loud. And I've got the JIAs with a Backman class 66. And this is just normal DCC, there's no sound in this one. So I'll get them running around independently. Was they different eras, so they wouldn't have run together in real life. Um, so I'd like to say thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed the video.